Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into one of the most exciting new functions in Excel, Group By. If you've ever struggled with sum if, sum ifs, or unique to summarize data, you know how clunky and time consuming it can be. But guess what? Group By makes all of that so much easier. No pivot tables, no endless formulas, just one simple function. By the end of this tutorial, you will not only understand how group by works, but you will also have a practice file to follow along. So grab your Excel and let's get started. Before Excel introduced group by, summarizing sales by country or product felt like a never ending chore. You had to use multiple functions copy and paste data, and constantly update formulas whenever your data sets changed. Let's walk through what we used to do so you can see how much simpler Group by makes everything. Imagine you have a list of sales transactions with different countries and products. You want to know how much each country has sold in total. That means we need two result columns for country and sales. So I'm going to copy these two column headers and paste it here. First, you need to pull a list of unique countries from the data set. So in cell H6, I'm going to use the unique function to extract a unique list of countries. So equals unique function of country column. Close the brackets and press enter. Excel will now generate a list of only the unique country names, but that's just the start. Now that we have our list of unique countries, we need to calculate the total sales for each one. And here's where it gets tricky. We are going to use a sum if function for that. So in cell high six, right next to the first country in column H, I'm going to type in the sum if formula. So equal sum if, our range is the country column. So I'm going to grab that, comma. Our criteria is the first unique country. Go up to grab that, comma and that sum range is the sales column. Now close the bracket and press enter. Then drag the formula down to fill the column. At this point, we've successfully summed up sales for each country, but it took two steps. And what if we want to analyze sales by both country and product? Well, that's where things get even more complicated. We need a more complex formula. So I'm going to delete the existing sales column and the unique function. I will copy the product and sales headers into column high and G to prepare for further analysis. Now, we need to use the unique function again, but this time we will include both the country and the product columns in a selection. So equals to unique function of both country and product column. Close the bracket and press enter. And Excel will return a list of all unique country to product combination. At this point, we need to use the sum ifs function because we now have multiple criteria, country and product, and here's how to do that. So under the column for sales, I'm going to type in the sum ifs function, sum ifs this time, like I said, because we have two criteria. If it was just one criteria, we use the sum if, but this time we go with sum ifs. The range we want to sum is the sales column. So let's grab that, comma. Our first criteria range is the country column. The first criteria is the unique country. Our second criteria range is the product column. So let's grab that as well. Up to 25, comma. And our second criteria is the product from the unique list. So grab that, close the bracket and press enter. Then drag the formula down to apply it to the rest of the rows. So this sum ifs function checks multiple conditions and sums the data accordingly. So as you can see, analyzing sales data like this required multiple manual steps, extracting unique values, defining criteria ranges, and applying formulas. In the old way, summarizing data meant juggling several functions and updating formula every time new data was added. Thankfully, group by eliminates all these manual steps with a single function. All right, now that we know how TGLC used to be, let's talk about how group by makes everything simpler. Imagine doing all those steps we just covered with just one function. Sounds amazing, right? Well, that's exactly what group by does. 
Group by is a new Excel function that lets you organize and summarize your data quickly. It's like using a pivot table, but much easier. With group by, you can group your data and get totals or averages without needing any complicated formulas. Let's see how it works. Here is the group by syntax. Let's break it down step by step. The row fields. This is the column you want to group by. So think of it as the category you want to summarize, like the country in our own case. The value fields is the column you want to summarize, like the sales. The function is the operation to apply, such as sum, average, or count. And the headers, which is optional, determines whether headers are included in the result. So we use three for headers or one if you don't need them. So no more manual formulas, just one function does it all. Now, I have the same sales data here. Let's see how to analyze the sales by country using the group by function. I'm going to start typing in the group by function here. So equals group by, double click on that to select it. The first argument is row fields. The row field in our case is the country column. So let's grab that. Type in your comma. We have value fields. What are the value fields here? The sales column. So let's grab that as well. Comma. The third argument is function. There are a couple of functions available based on your need. You can take whichever function is relevant to you. But here I'm going to take the sum function to sum the sales column. Close the bracket. What happens when you press enter? Excel groups all unique country names and calculates the total sales for each country. The result is an automatic organized summary without the need for extra formulas. We also get the grand total at the same time. So now we have a complete summary of country-wise sales. There's one more advantage. We can also get the headers automatically. Let me delete the function here and reapply the group function this time including the headers. So in cell H5, I'm going to type in the group function because I want the headers shown on row 5. So equals group by. Our row fields is the country column. So select that from the country headers, comma. Our values field is the sales column. So right from the headers straight down to the bottom of the data, comma. The function is sum. So double click on that to select it. After pressing a comma, it will ask you whether you need the headers or not. I need to show the headers, so I'm going to take number three, yes, and show the headers. Close the bracket. And if you press enter, with that, we've got the headers and the grand total as well. Now, let's say you want to analyze the sales data by country and product. Just have the function open and have the product column included also in the row section. Press enter and it will analyze country, product and sales at the same time. And in case you want to include the unit sold along with sales, so we're going to open the formula again, go to the value section and include the unit sold column as well. What happens when you press enter? The output will show a breakdown of sales and units sold per country all in one function. Excel automatically formats the data in an easy to read summary table. See how simple it is. Awesome, right? So when do you use group by function? You use group by function anytime you want to summarize or add data without using multiple functions or creating a pivot table. It's a perfect choice for big data sets and more complex calculations. But take note of this point. Group by only works in Excel 365. Two, pivot tables may be better for interactive data analysis. And lastly, if you need percentage calculations, pivot tables might still be necessary. Now it's your turn. Try using group by with different data sets and let me know in the comments, how will you use group by? If this tutorial helped you, smash that like button and subscribe for more Excel tips. See you in the next video.